Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing? So, we are uh, all the way at day 25 of 30 of doing the... Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. Nadira wants an apprentice. 1,000 attempt crafting mission on planet Tolan. In which that allows you to collect 70 peck daily in machinery skill. And so, machinery skill is pretty important. Um... If you're going to be a crafter trying to craft item items, it goes into, well, a whole list of stuff. In fact, it goes into armor crafting, all the weapon crafting, and a few others. And so uh, machinery is like an end item type skill. It usually lags behind a little bit. Makes up a reasonable percent of your actual uh, success. And so it's worth actually building up. Now... For the purposes of this, we've been demonstrating how cheaply this can be done, and so I've been using a uh, EP1 blueprint. Yesterday we did actually quite well, and so we went from being 18.93 down to, uh, geez, I'd have to look up, because uh, let me check. But basically, we, we, we cut that significantly. And so, I don't want to say without checking. So, real quick, I'll go into it and uh, look. I hope you guys, by the way, are having a great day. You see exactly what we ended up at. I'm going to write it down, too, so I actually know where we were. We ended up where we're only down 9.53. And so we we were up 9.4 for the run, which is insane, right? That that's actually a significant increase. And so I was pretty happy about that. I'm gonna be honest. And so of course the uh, blueprint I'll be using is a 100% quality rating blueprint, as you can see. This character is a 46th, I believe, still. Like, honestly, I don't go up levels fast at this point. Yeah, 46th level uh, mechanical engineer. And we're absolutely qualified skills-wise and stuff like that. Except for the fact I am missing industrialist. And industrialist, honestly, psh, we'll get that one day. But it, it'll be a second, okay? Just going to be honest. So I'm going to get this started. I'm going to have this set up to where we can see the amount in pad. It goes to a better decimal point down there. I'm going to have this set up where we can see the skills as they roll in. Like always, I'm going to have this set up to where we can see this stuff. Like, you know, the blueprints that pop. What we'd like is some explosive projectile recycler blueprints or a global. Honestly, at this point, I'm so happy with where we've been on everything then I'm not obsessed with if that happens or not. And so it looks good. Um, I'm going to click this to get it started. I also will make my face disappear. I will be sitting here the whole time. Anything that happens that's uh, like a blueprint pop or anything significant I'm going to talk about. At the very end, we'll go over things like always. And uh, well, basically, like always, this will work the same way. I'm going to get this started, and I hope you guys are having an amazing morning, by the way. Shoot some positive kick buttons at us so we we can do well on this. You know what I'm saying? Boom. See where we end up today. It's always exciting to see this stuff. So, let's have some coffee and watch this run, right? Cross fingers. Super excited for today.
so I'm not really sure how I'm going to judge this right now. We're way early. But that's no blueprints. If that got times by like 10 point something, we'd be pretty okay. At least they finally did give us some skills. I was starting to worry there. I'm like, whoa. We're so early in that I'm not really actually, but I do like to see something appear everywhere. Like to see a blueprint pop in there.
Okay, so we did get some welding wire. By the way, if anybody is looking for like a large stack of welding wire, I have said large stack of welding wire. I wasn't planning on running a giant stack of welding wire. Probably gonna make it available really cheap in my little booth, to be honest. Like way cheap. Okay, we're crossing the one-fifth point. I'd like to see more right here. That's reasonable-ish. Honestly, uh, I wouldn't be shocked if they kind of slap us a little because we did so well yesterday that a little bit of balancing wouldn't blow me away. But uh, overall, we're kicking so much butt going into this run that don't really think it matters but this is looking okay anyway and literally so much of it is left that who knows which direction it goes
so that looks like not a big deal but that technically is 10 more than 10 times the value you know what I'm saying so that just recovered a good amount of throughout here and it's not vastly impressive looking but we get a few of those and those things add up and so psh. Oh no, this is looking like a reasonable run. We're not going to be vastly down at all. I'm hoping less than I know we're only a little over a quarter way through, but this could turn in like to two pad about. That that's not really impressive. The amount of blueprints we've stacked here isn't impressive, but our success rate overall in general has been good. And these successes, if you look at it, they're about well, they're they're a percentage way over. Like I didn't calculate it. But that's probably about 6% over the actual hit. And so, this one is it. This, this one's, uh. Yeah, well, that, that's actually way better. I should be sitting here with a calculator sometimes and actually calculating our, our percentage over and stuff. But our input cost is 2 pack. And we're generating technically 2.28, I mean 2.2, .2, yeah, no, I said it right. That sounded weird in my brain. Two, two, seven. If this would get up a little bit higher, we'd be really dominating crap, right? I need that industrialist skill. I mean, that, that's a long, long-term thing, guys. So I'm not going to jump out and, like, grab it tomorrow. But uh, holy crap. I really feel that if we had industrialists, we could literally just sit here and run this guy 24 hours a day. And it would cost nothing. Because if you look at industrialist, it probably makes up that percentage because that we're down. Like, we're down, technically, well, because of yesterday, we're down way little. But we were down before yesterday, less than 5% on the overall run anyway. Like, pre-yesterday, at run number 24, we were at 17.91 something going in. Or 18.93, I apologize. And, uh... Yeah, that's that's one pad, way less than one pad. Well, not way less, but it, it's less than 5% for sure on the overall runs cost. I feel if I had industrialists, we would be uh, actually totally going positive. I feel that. That's just an opinion. That's not a hey, that's a fact. Plus, if you think about it, the investment cost to have that makes the break even point of that even running 24 hours a day of extraordinarily long term from then like if you were just to try to buy that in and try to recoup your money on the idea that you were just going to run some blueprint for a long time and just realistically that's so psh. but i do feel that if i had that skill i i would be 
rocking forward ridiculous at that point. That's such a hard skill to unlock. But at this point, I'm pretty happy with how things are going anyway. This could shoot up a little higher, I'm sure. And they're not giving us as much blueprint love as normal. We should at least have two blueprints by now. I mean, not, not, not that there's an expectation for that, because remember, we've had runs where, like, it was a blueprint or two, and that was pretty devastating, shocking. I mean, it didn't actually affect the overall ped value in the run, but still shocking. So, we're getting close to wrapping up all this, uh, building up some machinery, right? Then it'll be time to go dominate the crap out of building up, uh, uh, manufacture weapons, actually, is what we're going to go build up. I'm lagging behind on that. At this point, we've got even equipment methodology, I think even, uh, maybe even manufacturing methodology is maybe catching up with it. In which that that that's another one. I don't know what I'm gonna do to really build that up at a high rate of speed. It's gonna be one of those laggers. And there's not like a planetary mission for like some of these, like machinery and engineering. Thank God there's a planetary mission. You land, you take 70 or 75 peck every day in skill, and it really does add up. But like. There's nothing comparable to that for metallurgy. And a lot of people would love to just be able to go and sit there and do a daily for some metallurgy, especially 70 pack. And uh, vehicle manufacturing, the actual vehicle manufacturing skill. If there was a planet that had a vehicle manufacturing daily for 70 pack, they would be dominating it. I don't even care if it's a Kraft 200 uh, combustor engine daily. You know what I'm saying? People would be like, oh, well, I got to go craft my 200 or 300 freaking combustors. The The market would be flooded with, with uh, blueprints, though, at that point. The kind that come off combustors, I don't even know. Like crap, crap loads of the little helicopter blueprints. I don't know, it'd be interesting. A non-Calypso planet should do that. So that there's some diversity in vehicles. Like, not not Calypso. They should not put something like that on Calypso. They should put it on a distant planet that needs help, that has a whole bunch of blueprints for vehicles. Get all the vehicle crafters on one planet just pumping out vehicle crap. Be epic. Does MA have an actual suggestion box? I always wonder this stuff. They should. I also think they need a derelict mission in space where like a derelict ship just randomly spawns somewhere in space every little bit that's portable as an instance, but it's only there for so long and has absolutely unique drops and a unique creature. Of some kind. I don't know what kind. But. Aliens that obviously took over the ship, right? More stuff in space. For sure. Kind of waiting to see what it looks like under that new Unreal Engine, like everything as a whole, to be honest. Like, really excited about that. I'm 
like what's that going to be like? Do the continents and everything, the land pieces stay exactly the same? Basic filters, this is a junk blueprint. I mean, it's not a junk blueprint, it's handy as crap for generating other blueprints on a planet, right? Um, all these prices that are big like this, that's because somebody sold a uh, high quality rating one that offset the price. That probably is realistic because that was probably a, a 15 pack quality rating blueprint that somebody bought at that, that I believe. But uh, that, that blueprint's only really great for like running blueprints to get more blueprints. And because it goes into a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to talk smack. It goes into a bunch of stuff. There's reasons to run that blueprint. This is not as impressive as yesterday, right? I'm going to go grab some more coffee and I'm going to hope that this pulls up. Like drastically pulls up a little bit. Because we were up so much yesterday though. Like literally I do believe sometimes like you have a really good day. And then they slap you the next day like way hard right in the face. And they're like hey let's put you in check percentage wise. And I know that that's just like some kind of distributional average type thing going on but uh it feels pretty consistent epic day slap in the face day who knows So, by the way, in other super sweet big news, we're literally about uh, 40 hours of watch time on YouTube from monetization click. And so uh, that is going to occur soon. I'm going to wait till it overruns the thing. We uh, get a pretty good amount of watch hours right now as it is on YouTube. And so what's going to happen is uh, I'll be cleaning up my channel, making sure everything's aligned with their policies and stuff like that over the next week. And then that uh, process takes a second. It's been a little bit of work to get that. I have to put out some more general content and stuff like that because shockingly enough, the majority of my view hours don't come necessarily from Entropia. It's a great game. I love the crap out of it. But uh, view-wise, it, it, it carries 
a specific very good amount of loyal people but it doesn't carry like the majority of my watch hours and so I have to put out some more general content stuff that though once it kicks into monetization is going to allow us to have a lot more ability to do some stuff which I'm super freaking excited about because Headwise content on here does cost a little bit sometimes. Um, basic sheet metal. So honestly, this is inaccurate. This is this is somebody selling like a high quality rating and maybe a normal one. Let's look. Let's see what happened here. I just like to look at what actually happened in a a sell. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times. You've got these giant, hey, somebody sold like a 100% quality rating where it's somewhere up here off the freaking chart. And then you've got reality down here, which is like normal reality. The velocity on these cells, though, is not horrible, right? I mean, if you look at it, look at the markups here. I feel almost most of these cells, by the way, look to be um, none of these cells almost are uh, just neutral ones you know what I'm saying it looks like almost all these cells for this uh, so here's what I'm gonna say it's not a worthless blueprint it has some value. Obviously, people buy them. The value of it is 100% markup. Uh, is obviously super high. It distorts the market. Um, so, who knows? I believe I could sell one easy for two ped, though. But I'm not going to. We counted as trade terminal value on this planet, especially. But in realistic terms, if I was on Calypso, we'd probably have a, a one to two ped sell. Who knows, though? I don't like to use... You only get 50 slots on a planet for auction items. And so if you're on a planet you and you have a bunch of stuff to sell, you do have to actually be kind of selective in, in what you're going to try to push through the auction house. And I like the fact that they limit it to 50 so somebody doesn't just like be like, well... I'm going to just flood the markets as a whole. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of nice of them. We're close to the 50% mark. This is the right amount of blueprints, by the way. I, I would expect six blueprints from a run. This is a little bit low. I would actually it's a lot low so I like to see this about doubled so I mean realistically we're probably what 65 pack down I'm starting to have an eye on, on where, where we want this at the end I feel we really want this about 2.4 pad or so honestly we want it like a hundred pad but that like just to break even and stuff. We, I, I know that it has to be above one. We're above one though. Good question. Okay, we're at 50% mark right up here.
kind of still hoping it kind of curves up a little bit better than it is. I mean, we're not being decimated, but we're not also kicking butt. And so it is looking like they're putting me back in check a little bit. Okay, so that's some more welding wire and 
a little bit more metal residue, so that helps.
Okay, so this honestly would sell on Calypso um, in this range. This is realistic. This is this is a hundred percent realistic range. Here, I would probably be just throwing it in there to have it junk. And so, if somebody needs any of this stuff, um, I, well, this this I have a giant stack. If somebody needs a giant stack of that, they should just message me. But um, this stuff, if somebody needed, I would put it in or just direct trade to somebody to help them get it. But outside of that, on this planet especially, I would consider that trade terminal stuff. Okay, so we are now three quarters of the way done. We have multiple, we have had two hits of this and we have these. So we have four, five-ish, you know, like we're in the right ballpark for blueprint production. We're not in the right ballpark right here necessarily. I don't know. We could be down a pad, two pad, what, three pad? You think we're actually down more than 10%? I don't know at this point. It could be. I mean, like we slaughtered it yesterday though, so. Psh.
we're officially at 200 clicky clicks left in now. Thank God. That took longer. I was thinking it was going to just be now, and then it was just and laggy. Well, it wasn't laggy. I didn't count on it on seconds. Man, excited to see this is uh, kicking so much butt over the whole run. Th this specific run has not kicked as much butt. But the whole overall of this whole series of runs, honestly, uh, has done really well. I actually would have expected that we would have got an explosive projectile recycler kind of at this point. But I also would have expected that we would have needed it because we would have been much more down than I, I thought we were going to be. I actually thought we were going to be more down. So at this point, being only down the amount we are and having no globals, no explosive projectile recycler pops is pretty freaking epic actually because if we get a global or a recycler pop then that means that we're just like instantly thrown up into that and so which would be an anomaly you know I wouldn't want to base my decisions based off that but this uh, looks good
by the way, I hope you guys are all doing great today. I mean, like, obviously we're not up like a, a chunk like yesterday, but this is not a bad run at all. And so, overall, everything is kicking some butt. Might have drank a few too many cups of coffee, to be honest. But, you know, it was delicious coffee. That, that counts. So this metal residue count right here, it looks like crap, to be honest. That That's where we know we're down. I mean, like, the, the hey, we don't have six blueprints isn't a big deal, because we got two sets of these. So that's not shocking. I'm going to tell you the truth. When I heard that aircraft coming in for a second, I thought my dryer or something turned on, and I was like, what the heck is wrong with my dryer? I mean, it makes sense that it's an aircraft coming in now, but... Plus, I was trying to figure out why my dryer just turned on, but... I mean, who knows? That'd be a really weird sound for a dryer to make. Okay, boom. I know. So, kicking some butt here, right? Last 100. Where are we at on this? I have no idea. I assume we're uh, two pet down, maybe even. I mean, I don't know that. But if we're two pet down, though, that's exactly 10%. I would hope we're under that. But uh, who knows? Honestly, though. If you think about it, if we're two ped down too, and we were on a normal planet, we would just be selling like this basic sensor for the whatever amount of ped, and this probably, and that would probably take care of ish it. I mean, that's the one problem with being on weird planets is that the blueprint capacity for sales is different than everywhere else. I mean, like Calypso. There's a lot of new people starting, so there's a higher volume of people that might would want to buy some of this stuff. By the time you get to certain planets, nobody really needs this stuff. And I would say on Monria, right? Everybody's running massive runs of everything every day. Just like on this planet, all this stuff gets put out at a pretty considerable rate. So, don't really want to count it for anything except trade terminal value, because that is what we will pretty much get. So, that's um, where we're at on that. I think we're, uh, what, one or two ped down, or right between there. We're at least one ped down for sure. And then watch, oh, I could be freaking way wrong. Because this has looked real good. Like our actual successes, if you look down here, they're not bad successes. And so, who knows? I'd like at least one nice little hit where we pull up for sure. Sixty out. This always takes so long, this little last little bit. It's 
So the other day I was watching a video where somebody took some kind of like normal cartoon, like uh, what do you call it, coloring book, and instead of coloring it like a normal person would, they horror crap, like horror filmed it kind of ish. It looked cool as heck. Just gonna say that. I almost wanted to be like, well, I think I want to actually make a, a, oh, shoot, my pin lid off, a like a painting type comic book horror film type thing. Like comic book, I mean like, a, what do they call it? I'm saying the wrong thing. Like a coloring book, not, not comic book. And so they had just took a coloring book and then they, they definitely enriched it. They had better artistic skill than I would definitely have. So mine would not look as cool as theirs, but I did think it was pretty cool. It's a really interesting idea. But they had made some ridiculously like a little bit on the, the darker side of things where you're like, oh, okay. But it looked sick. Honestly, it was it was some solid work. I don't even know if you guys like craft stuff. Craft stuff is fun. Gives you something to do. Outside of crafting in a video game, you know. Which is also fun somehow. Who knows? Okay, we're almost there, guys. I apologize for this feeling like it's forever. Sometimes I grab my desk to pull myself forward, and the little light that's up there that goes crashing down. So, gotta watch for that stuff. That causes a little chaos in the middle of your stream, for sure. Okay, we're on our last 20 clicky clicks. Oh, deep breath. Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, boom. So I did not see a single, like, really high hit in here. See what I mean? We're nowhere near what we... We slaughtered it yesterday. They definitely are... Oh, see? It's over two pad. We don't really have to calculate that the same. Okay, so we're at 2.52. On top of the 9.53 we came in at. Okay, we're 12.05 pad down for the overall thing with 2.52 for the day. Not a big deal. I mean, like, that is over 5%. That's what I mean. And, like, I don't know if they, I mean, I'm sure they officially say, hey, we don't do that. But it does kind of feel a little bit like, hey, um, 
and it could just really be a statistical balancing of averages and stuff like that, which would be reasonable. I mean, I'm not going to talk crap about that. Um, but who knows, right? Okay. We'll grab some stuff here. We'll find out what actually is still in there and what isn't, because I honestly don't know what's in there. And so, wait, did we just grab that? Wait, well, that's totally not the same thing. I, I don't know how. I thought that this was the same thing as this random thing, right? I'm not really sure about that thing. I think there's something good down here that I wanted to grab for some. Oh, yeah, this Nahar mist texture. Honestly, I think it should be more misty. I'm just going to be honest. That's my opinion on that. That's what I'll say. Yeah, okay. Oh, I got confused on buttons for a second. Almost used the buttons for a different game. It was about to get really confusing. Okay, so I'm going to check this real quick. I uh, want to throw in stuff we already have. Everything that we're about to throw in, we do not have in there, so it doesn't even matter. Boom. By the way, I want to thank you guys for uh, all the support and being freaking just absolutely epic. Um,. Over the next few days, we uh, will get monetization status on uh, YouTube. Of course, then we have to wait for them to approve us. Um, I probably t will take the week and uh, review everything. I mean, I'm going to keep on my streams and everything. But I do need to review my channel and stuff like that as we're awaiting the click in the button. I don't know when I will officially click the button, but it will be like... Tomorrow or the next day that we actually hit our hour account for uh, officially going over and becoming monetized on YouTube. Really exciting stuff. Um, the plan is to be able to use that to be able to improve the channel as a whole. And uh, to be able to do events and stuff like that across uh, basically this game and other games but this game specifically um, because I love the crap out of it I'd like to actually do more in it so I'm going to click this we're going to take our, our thing boom just because I'm excited and I do want to share this with you guys you guys will be excited too well I don't know maybe you'll be excited maybe you won't but I will show you where we officially are as a community in the monetization process, in which I'm going to tell you, not the easiest process to work your way through, but boom. I think you'll be able to see that in one second. Maybe not. Maybe I'll have to click out this video game capture part real quick so we can see it. So this is where we are right now. And so we're less than 50 hours of watch time left in the process and so uh, that'll be happening this week and so I'm super psyched um, that has not been a short-term thing it literally would never have happened without the support of everybody like on this game and well just basically everybody that watches my channel and so I do want to thank you guys and thank you guys for being epic I'll be back again tomorrow, and uh, I'll be on Dungeons & Dragons, of course, later on today. Peace, very best wishes, and have a great day.